Mom, thank you so much for cooking this when we were growing up. Oh, God. Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you a dish that's really special to me, a dish that I grew up eating, ayam ponte or chicken ponte. It's rich, savoury, mildly sweet, hearty chicken stew that just feeds and comforts the soul. Now before I begin cooking, I just want to give you a quick overview or a short, really short history lesson behind ayam ponte and the Pranakan dishes. Ayam ponte or chicken ponte traditionally is a Pranakan dish. Now the term Pranakan signifies an offspring from intermarriages between locals and foreigners. Now these foreigners were the Chinese seafarers who sailed from southern China to Nusantara through the Straits of Malacca which at that point was the busiest trading port linking Asia to Europe. And Malacca quickly became one of the largest Chinese settlements in Peninsula Malay. Now these Chinese dudes, when they came over, they were unaccompanied by their wives because back then, Chinese women were not legally permitted to leave the country. So you can imagine that these guys saw it as the perfect opportunity when they saw the qualities of our women being fine, you know, tan, uh, great cooks. I am sure they're great cooks and also good housekeepers. So they started marrying the locals and popping up children. Now these children were the offspring of what we call the Pranakan people. In time, the intermarrying between the Chinese and the locals gave birth to this Pranakan cuisine. I mean, I'm just thinking about it and you know, in my simple mind, having foreign husbands come over, you speak, totally speak different languages, the women back then trying to sort of understand what is it that their husbands were talking about when they say, oh, I miss this and that and this and that. Can you make this, 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 like this and like that? And I'm sure back then Chinese dudes didn't really cook, right? And the women had to sort of figure out and understand what is it that they were missing, uh, what would it taste like, and recreate these dishes using local ingredients and also cooking techniques that they're familiar with. So that takes genius. And that's how I know that these women, our women, were great cooks from the get-go. And this recreating and this creativity sparked or sort of gave birth to this complex, exotic Pranakan cuisine. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do, shallots. Slice, just rough chop them. Now to this, we'll be adding in some garlic cloves. Got about eight garlic cloves and about eight numbers of shallots, blitz. Turn on the heat on a wok, add in oil. In, nice. You sort of want to fry them until they're nice and golden. Yeah, very, very aromatic before you add in the other ingredients. This is fermented bean paste, also known as tau chiu in Chinese, or as we know it here in Malaysia. Chicken goes in. Sort of mix everything together. Now, we're going to season this with some soy sauce, dark caramel. Look at that, nice. Now, we're going in with some water. All right, so now, we're just gonna let this chicken stew in this liquid for a good 45 minutes to an hour. So that's gonna really lock in all those flavors from the fermented bean paste, that nice aromatic shallots that was fried to golden brown, and the soy sauce as well. Now, we're gonna add in some other condiments to the ponte. Commonly, you'd find a lot of people adding in potatoes, yeah? but if you go back into history, you'd see that they used bamboo shoots yeah, back then. But potatoes, I love potatoes, and potatoes in a stew just soaks up all that flavour, right? It's like this nice sponge. So cut them into nice big chunks. You don't want to cut them too small because they'll break apart. And what we're going to do with these potatoes, we're first going to sort of fry them lightly fry them so this would give the potatoes a nice crust so that it doesn't break up so easily in the stew. There are other ingredients that one could add in a ponte. One of the other things that I absolutely love in a ponte is actually the Chinese dried mushrooms. Um, you soak them, get them nice and hydrated, then you add them into the stew, let it stew away. It's also one of those ingredients that sort of will just absorb all that flavor from the sauce. And once you bite into it, it releases all that into your mouth and it's just an explosion of flavors. I'm not using it this time around simply because I'm out of it. I thought I had it, but no, I didn't have it. So 
that's why it's not in this recipe but um, if you're back home please do include the Chinese mushrooms if you have it it's something that will just blow your mind all right so now we're not cooking these potatoes until they're cooked all the way through and we just want to have this nice sort of crust on the outside then we can remove it and set it aside now before we sort of leave this to simmer away I'm just going to add in one more ingredient now this is palm sugar okay um, gula melaka as we call it locally here in Malaysia now, it gives you a nice sort of caramel earthy flavor to it that is very very delicious and that's what's also very prominent in this dish the ponte in we go give it a good stir around so all that flavors combine all right now we're just gonna close it and let it simmer let it stew let all that flavors sort of come together marry nicely and let that chicken absorb all that wonderful goodness all right we're about halfway through Oh, look at that. Oh, the smell just brings me back to my childhood. Add the potatoes in. Give it a good stir. Now we're just going to allow the potato to soften in that stew. It'll take approximately maybe 15 to 20 minutes. All right. All right, so now the wait is over. Ooh, look at that. Now, we're just going to season this lightly with some salt because the fermented bean paste is already quite savoury and we've added soy sauce to it so you don't want to add too much salt yeah but look at that chicken's nice and tender the potatoes are nice and soft ooh let's plate up all right now we've got a little bit of garnish I'm using some coriander julienne spring onion and julienne chilies just right on the top now this my friends is a dish that will mm, just hug your soul and make you feel so comforted mm. and now the moment that I've been waiting for it's a quick taste ah, man I definitely don't make this often enough, and I should. The chicken is so, so tender. Flavor is really penetrated through. You get the base flavor of that, the umami from the fermented beans, the savoriness from it. You get the sweetness from the palm sugar, the richness from that, and the perfume from the fried shallots and garlic. Everything just coming together. Again, like I said, it didn't take a lot of ingredients. It's so simple to make, but the flavor is though. Mm. Mm. This gravy with rice, oh my god. Oh, so good. And here's the thing, it's a dish where, like any other stew, you keep it in the fridge overnight, you have it tomorrow. I guarantee you, I promise you, the flavors in there will be so much better. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this recipe, guys, please do click the like and subscribe if you think it's added value to you. Um, or if you do this differently, every Peranakan family does their traditional dishes quite differently. So put in the comments of how you would do your ponte, this is how I do mine or how my family does it. Um, share with your friends, your family, take care, and I'll see you next week. Ciao guys. Now for me to enjoy this big bowl of soul comforting dish. Mm. A little bit of drip there. Oh my god. Guys, your family is gonna love it, especially your kids. Mm. Adios!